So a few people ask me what's my favorite cover I've done. <clears throat> well, any album cover that I have full reign on is my favorite album cover. You know, I don't mind working on people's ideas, but uh, when I get to do my own thing, it's uh, it's rare, unfortunately, but I definitely take full advantage of it. And this was a really, really cool opportunity to work with a California death metal band called Dave Grave Desecration. And I was able to do their logo, cover, and layout. So uh, this is definitely by far my top three favorite album covers I've ever done. And the reason why is this is actually one of my characters I came up with called the Gore Luster. And uh, this is, I mean, for me, uh, definitely a fun, brutal uh, album cover I did. So, and the logo itself, I'm not sure if you can really see it. When I did the logo, they're all think of suffocation. You know, it's a death metal band from uh, New York. So uh, Long Island. Uh, so they're like, yeah, think of uh, think of that. I'm like, okay, cool. And then, um, yeah, so I did the layout. Grave Desecration. This band's not around anymore. Uh, three of these guys were brothers, which was really cool. And so um, we had a lot of fun doing this one, man. This was, uh, yeah, I like when bands just let me do my own thing. So, yeah, have fun. You know, I just had a lot of fun with it. Uh, you know, use a skill saw for it. You know, so much fun, man. It's really, it's really a blessing to be able to to work with these death metal bands for all these years. It's a hoot and a holler, man. I've had a, I've had a one heck of a ride doing all this. So, um, yeah, this is, this is actually done in pencil first. Let me pop this thing off. Yeah. So it's actually, I still have this, uh, original graphite drawing and, and you can see it better in the graphite drawing because when it got printed, it got printed really dark. So that kind of bummed me out a little bit. So if you don't know what it is, it's a guy that actually cut off another man's penis and squeezing it. And then through his shins, he has these hooks with bells on it. So as this guy's flailing around and, and shaking, these bells are, you know, are rattling and he's getting off by it. And I'm not sure if you can see in the back that dude, this guy's being gutted over a hook and this girl behind this girl behind is actually being strangled by his intestines and if you go real far back in here which you probably can't see but it's actually you can see a little bit of a computer so that's how he gets all his victims you know online i'm sure like most of these psychopaths these days but yeah this was a lot of fun so he cuts the bottom of his feet to torture him so um yeah i threw that in there um yeah, not, not to say that I uh, promote any of this stuff in real life, but it sure is fun to uh, to draw it out and uh, work through some my own personal demons. <laughs> so anywho, yeah, so look, here's the cover of it. And what's a shame? It's a shame the band didn't uh, keep going. I'd like to have seen where these guys would have progressed into. And uh, yeah, so, you know, it's through some, uh, some knives. You know, the layout. So there these guys. Yeah, so you can see the logo a little better. Yeah, so you can definitely see how it's uh, inspired by uh, suffocation for sure. Uh, I hope all these guys are doing well. I haven't heard from these, any of these guys in a while, but, you know, big shout out to this band. They they crushed back in the days, man. So, um, and they're actually, three of them are brothers, if I remember correctly. Uh, I remember meeting their dad. I was talking to them like man you gotta be pretty proud to have all your sons up there killing in a death metal band and yeah he had a big grin on his face so that's cool man so yeah it's a california death metal band called grave desecration uh i mean just if any fans of mine uh tony cole um this is by far my favorite cover i've probably ever done yeah probably my favorite one uh, hands down <laughs> sorry guys thanks for watching and once again be good to yourselves so you can be good to others.